Uh, I want to. I want to welcome our next guest. Her name is Abigail Pearl. Uh, thanks to our good friends at uh, at one eight hundred PR. Now, now look at. Um, uh, the, I'm, I'm going to let her take it away, but you can go to cupcareminer.com. Let's visit that website just for a second. I want to get Russ's first pass reaction to this. Well, it sounds like a place for catchers. <clears throat> yeah, it's a bra liner, Russ. Oh, it's that a, cup. It, it's a bra liner. Yeah, and I'll tell you what. Can a I bra tell, liner? Can I tell you about the bra business? I, Do you know the size of the market for the bra business? 32D. No. Uh, B. How about 32B? <laughs> yeah, as 32 in billion. billion. Yeah. That's exactly right. That's cute. Yeah. Well, some bras might be uncomfortable, I would imagine. So this company, Cupcare, is a is what they're calling a feminine consumer goods company, providing yes. uh, what they're saying innovative hygienic beauty solutions for women. And and joining us here, if I'm not mistaken, <coughs> from Israel, Abigail Pearl joins us here on the Big Biz Show. Abigail, thanks for swinging by today. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. How are you? You guys sound great. Oh, there yeah. you go. She's Darn it. from Israel. This would have been a good uh, person to have on Skype, Bob. A little visual here, if you know what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. Uh, so, know, so a Abigail, what is it? I, what? I heard that, Russ. Oh, I'm I sorry, Abigail. Sorry, I thought my mic was not uh, <laughs> the privy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, okay, I'm, so I'm going to mute Russ's mic for the rest of the show, and Abby, you're going to have to tell yeah. us I'll behave. what this tell. Just do your best, and Russ is going to try to behave <laughs> to so talk excited. to us about what wait. Cup Care Liner does. All right, well, Cup Care, it's, what it does is actually a uh, product that makes bras more comfortable. I don't know if you guys know, but bras are not the most comfortable that's why thing. We're, I heard Russ saying it. That's why we're constantly trying to take them off. Are you the match? Yes, we, we're right? trying to help. Ladies. You know, that's, that's, the that's our goal. I would you imagine with, with wire and, 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 and rough material, lace especially, yeah. ouch. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, and a lot of uh, elastic bands holding everything together. Yeah, wow. The and so women complain of all types of issues when it comes to bras, and Cup Care, the bra liner, solves those issues. They range from just general discomfort or rashes or chafing of the bra on the skin mm -hmm. all day long and just moisture collecting there. Ouch. And I don't know if you know, bras are super expensive. Do you know how much an average bra costs? Well, I've how got uh, two no, daughters, and I'm thinking 35 bucks. Yeah, i got a couple daughters, too, and I'll tell you, that's why it's a $32 billion market. So how much? what does the average bra <laughs> cost? Well, they they range greatly, but the average is around forty fifty dollars. Yeah, 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 fifty for bucks. A good bra. Yeah, yeah. stop buying. Yeah, those. It's not especially for larger cups. Well, sure, more material. You know, you got to yeah. cover your expenses there. Yeah, your expenses is what you're covering. That's what you cover. <laughs> can I can I can I ask you this? What caused you to get into this game? Because I, I will tell you what, coming from investment yeah. banking and venture capital, like I do, okay, when you mm -hmm. see a deal, the first thing you ask is not. The proprietary advantage. You don't ask what makes it bigger, better, faster, stronger, cheaper. The first thing you ask is how big is the market size for this product? And the market size for your product mm -hmm. is enormous. How did you get into this? It was brilliant. Thank you. Actually, I invented it when I was 17 years old, which is about 15 years ago. And it was quite early in my bra wearing, like, uh, mm -hmm. you know, experience, we'll call it. Sure. And I just felt like it wasn't like a good experience. It was just a bad experience with bras, and I felt like I can make them better. It took like a decade to actually turn it into a company, but I ended up doing it, and then we just we went with it. We did all of the um, you know research to see how many women would actually want it, and yeah, the market is you huge know, for it. What is interesting, I can tell you this, and I and I still consult with companies uh, that are trying to raise capital. Mm -hmm. I can tell you, my female clients have a tougher time raising money through VCs than men. No I don't kidding. know why that is. Would, would, did you find the same thing, Abigail? You know, um, it's definitely true. Um, from what I I know, there's only about seven percent of VC investments that go into uh, women women companies or CEOs uh, that are women. And I find that it's it's definitely geared towards men. Um, but I don't think it comes from a place of you know chauvinism or anything like that. I think that women aren't putting themselves out there enough. And I think that with time, it's, it's getting better. I think women are getting into this, and they're, they're building companies, and they're, they're becoming who they want to be. And yeah. I think it's improving. So, Maybe it's changed since you were there, hopefully. Well, so let me ask you this. So, so crowdfunding is, is, is an option, I'm, I'm understanding, correct? Yeah, yeah. So we didn't actually go to VCs yet. We went to angel investors, and we got investment from mm -hmm. angels. Yeah. Um, and then at the second round, we decided to do a crowdfunding campaign because – it's a great way of showing your product to the crowds and getting reviews and getting them to, you know, decide if it's good or not. 
And so that's what we were doing. So how's the adoption we're rate live been with, right now? How's the adoption rate been with the with the women that you've uh, that you pitched this to? Um, what do you mean adoption rate? Well, Sorry. what I'm saying is, are you getting? I mean, is is it getting traction? Are women are women investing? Yeah, women are. You know, they're they're buying the product, and so they they also invest in the company to help it like turn into like a reality. But they're buying the product; they're pre buying it. So it doesn't yet exist. It's in production sure, right yeah. now. Yeah, that's, and, and that's, it how, and that's in how, one month. And that's how and that's how crowdfunding works. And, and typically, what happens? You go to like India Go Go, or you go to the crowdfunding places, and you're pre purchasing. Yeah. This. And then she's in production. I got her a little name, sweat in that area, too, where, where it looks like the we, product we, goes. Yeah, we need to fix that. Abigail Pearl's her name. She's the founder and CEO of Cupcare. You could go to cupcareliner.com. Thanks again to our friends at uh, 1-800-PR for that. Abigail, great to talk to you. Hope to have you back. Want to hear more about your successes?